subscribe to our channel. Click on bell icon, you never miss any update. Hello, welcome to the very new topic that is software development life cycle. So in this video, we are going to talk about SDLC, software development life cycle. You can see that it's a full development process in that obviously testing is a part. Okay, so let's start from here. So what is SDLC? It's a process to develop an application or in a simple words, I'll say it, it's a protocol or process or a guidelines to develop an application, right? So what happens if you follow the guidelines? What happens if you plan? Whenever you plan it, there are high chances that we can achieve our goal. What is our goal here? Our goal is to develop an application within given budget right within a given time frame and with quality we can reach this whenever you plan it okay so sdlc is planning so if you are not going to planning and if you start working on that there are chances that you can drop somewhere in between right yes a proper planning will give you excellent result will take you to your goal right yes that is what sdlc is now let's move on to the phases of sdlc these are the common phases of sdlc here we can have a look on this requirement collection analysis designing coding testing release and maintenance these are six phases of your software development life cycle okay in some cases you can say requirement collection analysis combined as requirements only okay release and maintenance are two different phases okay yes now let me explain you this how exactly the software development life cycle works okay so what we do is we'll talk theoretically and also we are going to talk about what happens in an organization level so here we are going to talk about what happens in each phase okay what documents will be released in each phase and how those documents are useful for testers okay you may have hundreds of documents in the complete development life cycle but all documents are not useful for the tester right yes some documents are more useful for the tester and what are those and how to go through those document all those details we are going to have a look on okay so let's begin with the very first phase that is requirement collection as the name indicates okay collecting the requirement from the client who will collect the requirements generally ba business analyst he is going to interact with the client okay he is going to have multiple meetings with the client and he is going to take all his requirements whatever the client says he is going to write in a documentation and the name of the documentation is business requirement specification or brd what we call it as it has all the business needs okay only requirements right fine so next phase after taking the requirement from the client we'll move on to the next phase okay in this phase system analyst will participate along with business analyst he is going to interact with the client okay and what the system analyst is going to do is he is going to develop the functionalities for the requirements okay as discussed in the first phase we got the requirements right for that requirements functionalities will be defined in this phase in the requirement analysis phase and all the functionalities will be defined in a document called functional requirement specification document or system requirement specification document we call it as frs or frd okay yes yeah, see all these are standards means um, requirement should be taken by ba this is a standard right assume that we have a small company where we have three or four employees over there then there is no concept of ba right a senior developer or ceo or someone will take so that information what i am giving you this is just a standard a lot of companies will follow it but some companies may not follow it due to their own reasons clear yep now so next we are going to move on design phase so in this phase design architect database designers will participate depending on the requirement documentation depending on the brs and frs documentation they are going to develop the design first graphical user interface design document will be given database design documents will be produced okay all these documents will be produced in this high level and low level documentation for the developers 
okay those documents will be produced in the design phase next it will move on to the coding phase your developers will code the application depending on the information given then after it will move on to the testing phase tester will perform end to end testing on the application if everything is fine we are going to release that to the client after releasing whatever the changes you want to make that falls under maintenance okay this is an walk through of your software development life cycle okay here two or three major things what we need to discuss the very first major thing what we need to discuss is sorry in the first phase what i said your ba take the requirement from the client and he is going to put the in the document called brs and this is a requirement related document right in the second phase the requirements will be converted into functionalities so what is the difference between requirement and functionality just think and let me know yes there is a vast difference between functionality and a requirement see in the brs document we have only requirement what client want in a simple line in a single line that's it okay assume that i have a banking application client is giving a requirement for the banking application client said that my client should have a option to transfer money from one account to other account we call this as bank to bank transfer okay so bank to bank transfer should be available right bank to bank transfer should be available for the users this is a client requirement okay so what is the functionality of it yes open the website enter username and password okay select the user to whom you want to send the money if user is not available add that user okay enter how much money you want to send enter high security password click on send this is the functionality for this requirement okay this is difference between the functionality and requirement so what is very important here yes functionality plays a very important role so frs document plays a very important role you need to read understand the frs document clear next one more thing actually taking the requirement doesn't mean that we have started a project yes that's true assume that let's come out of this uh, software development and we'll talk about a generalized topic here see uh, i have a automobile company assume that a client x has approached me and he is giving his requirements my ba is taking down the requirements of the client okay so client requirements are something like this he want a two wheeler next uh it should give mileage of 30 kilometers per liter it should run at the speed of 100 kilometers per hour which should be three seating capacity which should be in black in color which should run with diesel these are the requirements given to my ba okay yes my ba has taken all the requirements so what we do next so we are going to take a wrench and start working no right we are going to analysis each and every part whether we can do it or not whether it is realistic or not whether it is feasible or not yes so here we are going to conduct a study called feasibility study to check whether the given requirements are really realistic or not whether we can fulfill it or not or two wheeler yes we can produce okay with 100 kilometers per hour yes we can do it we should give a mileage of 30 kilometers per liter yes we can do it three seating a two wheeler with a three seating is against a law right so we'll study like step by step then we'll report to the client saying that guys three seater is not possible if you want to go with two seater okay if client says that no no i want three seater so normally negotiations will start okay so we'll do it with two seater okay a client says that no i want three seater at any cost we'll close that sdlc over there project is closed the same applies for software also we have taken the requirement from the client it doesn't mean that project is started right client gives us client gives us hell lot of requirements right yes we need to check that whether it's realistic or not what we are going to do in the feasibility study yes 
we are going to check the technology budget what not everything client said that guys i want uh, a selenium testers our client said that my application should test with selenium now we'll check that whether we have selenium testers or not right so if you have convert some manual to selenium will it work or not whether it comes in a budget or not right yes not only that client said that okay i want so and so technology we'll see that whether that technology is available or not whether we can do it or not so all these factors will be discussed in a study called feasibility study if it passes the feasibility study then only it will go to the next phase like requirement analysis phase else it will not move on to the next phase as simple as that clear so this plays a very 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 important role feasibility study plays a very 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 important role yes because this is a decision factor why because see client so who will do this uh, feasibility study generally ba should do it business analyst is the one who will do this study feasibility study but as it's a important one in some companies there will be a group of people who discuss about that okay a group of people will sit and they are going to discuss about requirements if they like senior developers like senior uh, members from different environments they will sit and they will discuss on the requirement okay once once if it is passed with the passed with the feasibility study then it will move on to the next phase or actually the project is started clear that is how the feasibility studies importance is why because client company will not take chance right like assume that you have taken the requirement and blindly we have given agreement to the client we have written service level agreement so what happens okay in between if you draw, if you drop from the project client may file a case against you saying that you have wasted his time okay so all the other uh, legal consequences comes into picture correct to avoid them first only they will clearly check that okay if you can do it we'll take it else we'll close it that is what feasible study is clear yep now in the next video we are going to talk about sdlc in a detailed manner i will show you those documents how frs brs and look like okay we'll talk about that